Hey folks, welcome back here to my channel Whiskey Visma. My name is Christopher and today here on my table I have two interesting Bruchletics for you and for me of course. And these were bottled by the Alakas company. It's a German bottler and uh, mm -hmm. not very old, you know, only um, well, found its way to whiskey um, in mm -hmm. 2017. And these two Bruchletics um, both named very imaginative Bellis and Kalmia, so um, something that uh, is true for all their releases. They all have very interesting uh, fantasy-like names, and um, these two, like like Juniperus or Kala or Kalmia or Bellis, and yeah, these two uh, Brucholatics are quite extreme in that regard, as they really exhibit um, apparently very overtly sherried aromas that are mixed with some um, sulfuric aromas, particularly Kalmia was even advertised as having been made in the Devil's Kitchen due to its um, very, yeah, very stark sulfuric uh, aromas in you know, on the nose and on the palate. Something that many, or quite a number of uh, whiskey lovers, of course, abhor. Yeah? They are, are very afraid of uh, sulfuric um, sherry cask and uh, for me personally not a big deal I actually quite like it I must say so um, what are these uh, both sherry hoxhead matured the ballast 13 years of age um, it was distilled in 2005 and bottled in 2018 55.3 percent ABV already poured a little bit over here to let it breathe and on the other hand, this here, Kalmia, uh, an absolutely explosive 64% ABV and uh, yeah, 15 years of age. So, um, what is there to, what is there, what else is there to say about these? Only that I quite like them. Yeah. They have pretty high marks in whiskey base something to always take a, with a grain of salt but here uh, in the German video I could already attest to their quality so I'll see now second tasting if it holds up on second nosing and wetting my palate with it. I will start with the Bellis and then go to the Kalmia. Same, I will start tasting the Bellis and then also go to the more explosive older um, release here from last year. Um, interestingly, um, they were bottled already in 2019, but only released uh, last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, so not sure whether it takes such a long time for the bottles to make it to Germany and then um, yeah, to get it all sorted out um, with distribution, what you will do with it, maybe get it to uh, some whiskey festivals or whiskey fairs first. Um, but it, um, I only got this bottle last week and it was a pretty new release on their website. But without further ado, what can you smell here uh, on the nose for the bellies? Lovely, aromatic, sweet honey, caramel. A little bit of sulfur. I always like to associate this with uh, capers, uh, pickled capers that are quite famously used here in Germany for a number of minced meat dishes. Königsberger Klopse. Um, Königsberg uh, meatballs, something like this, with some uh, very white um, flour, cream, capers uh, sauces. Very lovely, typically German, I reckon. And something that I find here. So capers, but not, not too sour, not too salty, not too extreme. Intermingling with the caramel and the orange juice, perhaps. Oak is there, mints, menthol, a little bit of licorice. Some herbal components as well. Mm. 
very aromatic, very nice, full nose. Now, for the Calamia, what do we have here? Apparently, the much more explosive one, not only with its descriptors, but also with uh, you know, 40, uh, 64% is really quite something. I believe I never had a stronger whiskey so far. Yeah, and this is something else. It's extremely aromatic without stinging in your nose with this extreme strength. It's very, it's, it's deeper than this, much more brooding dried fruit. Reminds me a little bit of some sherry springbank. So there are hints of peat smoke in this, ever so slightly, but it's, once again, I believe only the um, sulfuric touches that are in this as well, but not so much in the sour capers vinegary type, but more um, unstruck and struck matches. Liquid caramel, salted caramel, perhaps. Yeah, very nice, much more aromatic than the um, yeah, than this one over here. Yeah, on second nosing, this is now more, more typically sherried. All in all, still extremely lovely. And now on the palate. Hmm. Sulfur is there, definitely permeates everything and sucks out your saliva. Very s sour, sweet arrival. So, yeah, oranges, dried fruit, hardly recognizable. You know? um, the oak, as well as the sulfur and the sour, sweet citrus character from the nose is all the way there to the finish which is medium long I should say some licorice there a little bit of menthol there yeah. all in all very balanced for this extreme outlier of sherry cast maturation now The Calamia on the palate. Wow. Reminds me a little bit on the nose now of some very old Armagnac I had or some Rum Agricole from Madeira. So this definitely comes from the type of oak that they use. So I reckon this is not the same type of wood as they used here. So both Sherry Hoxhead, but this could have been European oak. Oak. It's much more spicier. Lovely. So that is quite powerful builds up more and more now my saliva never sucked out my saliva was just all over the place brutal but very warming very much honeyed caramel lots of herbal components thyme oregano 
Yeah, so dried cooking spice you would find in Mediterranean dishes. Some herbal tea and now also grilled oranges on the nose. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this Bellis, 13 year old here on the other hand, now much lighter, much brighter. Just as lovely, but the Kalmia is definitely more extreme. Yeah, still permeating through with lots of sulfur struck matches and honeyed menthol licorice, dried fruit, deep, dark, earthy, but also sweet. And on the, on the palate, as I said, very astringent. Oh yeah, very, very herbal, herbal spiciness now, like a very dry, unsugared herbal candy. In Germany we have these little um, bitters, um, herbal bitters, um, that are only sold in little, this paper-wrapped uh, small 4CL bottles, Unterberg, it's what they're called, deemed more medicine than actual uh, yeah, spirits. This is what this reminds me of, something. A little bit at least. Both amazing whiskies. Bruchlettich really knows how to do stuff. This is still the Jim McEwen era, of course. And uh, yeah, great stuff. What would I mark these two? Well, already made my decision in the German video and it has not changed now on second tasting and nosing, but for the Kalmia, just to uh, reiterate, 91 out of 100, first, first exp uh, impression, and the Bellis, 89 out of 100. So great, great bottles, really looking forward to delving much deeper into this particularly here on the Bellis. Uh, I have to be a, uh, a little quicker with my assessment, but uh, I should manage. But the Kamiya, this is certainly something to look forward to. Huh? It's really, in these troubled times, uh, wherever you may be, um, whether you are quarantined or just practicing social distancing, working at home, um, having not such a great time, sometimes you just need something to lift up your spirits and good whiskey is certainly helping. Uh, in any case, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, whether you know um, similar Brooklyn's um, or any other whiskeys that remind you of this. Let me know and have a great week. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.